What I have here is data from a number of dis school districts on a, a inside a state, and uh, so each role of uh, data refers to a school district. And the data that I have refers to five variables: number of test takers in the district, mean SAT score in the district, average years of teaching experience by the school teachers in the district, number of suspensions where the student remains in school doing some activities such as studying in a study room, and the number of out-of-school suspensions uh, where the student does something outside the school during the suspension period, for example, stays at home. What I will do is do an analysis with Warp PLS using this data. So I will start by creating a project file. And I'll create this project file under this folder here. I'm going to call the project file the same name as the data. So I'm going to call it district school data. And I'm going to conduct what what could be called a mining data mining analysis. Okay, so I'll save this project. Now I'm going to read the raw data file and I'm going to read the data from that XLS file. All I have to do at this stage is to click on next and finish then I'll be shown the data set and I'll be asked if it looks correct it seems to look correct there's there is some missing data that is indicated as NAN which is to be expected most data sets have missing data so click yes I will pre-process the data for the analysis now I'll be shown here that there, are, there is some missing data this percentage of missing data for mean SAT or average SAT scores is a bit high. It, it would be a good idea to reduce it a little bit to maybe 10%. Uh, above 20% is uh, a percentage that you, you may not want to have in your data set. So the data is being standardized. It all looks correct. Now I'm going to build my model. And what I want to do here is to see the average years of experience, which I'm going to call years X experience here. So the average number of years of teaching experience by the teachers. I want to look at the impact of this variable on SAT scores and I also want to look at the impact of suspensions which will be an aggregate of in and out suspensions I think this is going to be a formative variable but it may, it may also uh, behave as reflective that doesn't matter because where PLS treats uh, at least the algorithm that I'm going to choose treats these two types of variables in the same way. So I'm going to create this variable suspensions and I'm going to create a variable with the SAT scores. I'm going to create links among these variables. I'm going to centralize this model. I'm going to make it look a little bit better, centralize it again. So this model allows me to, to uh, check whether years of experience by the teachers has an effect on SAT scores that is either stronger or weaker than number of suspensions, which is an aggregate of in and out of school suspensions. So I'm going to save my model and I'm going to go to settings and I will choose P 
TLS regression, which is a linear algorithm. I'm going to use jackknifing here because my sample size is not very large. It's lower than 100. It's a bit, uh, 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 a bit more than 60. So for um, samples of this size, jackknifing tends to behave a bit better. I'll save my settings. I will perform the SM analysis and I'll get these I'll get these results. So what these results are telling me is that um, years of experience by the teachers has a statistically significant that's the P lower than 0.05 years as uh, uh, the P is 0 0.02 meaning that the likelihood that this association is due to chance is only 2%. So years of experience by the teachers has a much stronger impact on SAT scores than number of suspensions, which does not appear to have a significant effect on SAT scores. I can tell this b based on the small coefficient of association and also based on the p-value here which is too large the likelihood that this association is due to chance is 34 percent which is higher than five percent that is normally used for this type of test I can even take a look at the graph and here I can see that the years of experience by the teachers um, in a district they seem to be associated with an increase in SAT scores and this concludes this demo on mining data using WARP PLS, in this case, school district data.